guys, it's me Calvin with Big R Fly Shop. Uh, today we're going to be tying another streamer. This is one of my all-time favorite steelhead flies. Um, it's just basically a string leech that we developed a long, long time ago um, after we found some flies up in Canada. So, um, rabbit, flashaboo, peacock, it's a great fly. So, hope you guys enjoy and this is a great fly for coastal rivers where you need bigger profiles. So first thing we're going to do is we start the thread and I'm going to wrap, bring the thread all the way back because this is going to be another stinger style hook fly. And if you lay your stinger material, like you're going to tie your stinger on down on the bare shank, sometimes it doesn't hold as well. And here once again we're using a 30 pound fire line. And then for my, since this is going to be a bigger fly, it's a larger, more coastal sealed fly, I'm going to use a little bit bigger hook. I'm using a size 1 owner. And I'm looping it on here, and this fly is going to be about four to five inches in total length. You can see with that fire line, that hook stays nice and straight. Any other material like spider wire, it sags really bad. So we're going to go about there. And I fished this fly quite a bit on the Skagit. Um, done really well with this fly up on the Skeena system. Uh, and the Dean River, this fly actually did awesome. So I think any steelhead river where they like larger flies can't really beat this fly. So next thing I'm using is just black rabbit strip here. And you could tie this into various colors. I really like black and purple or black and blue for this fly. It seems to work the best for me. Um, so we have the black rabbit strip. You want to kind of measure it out to where it just comes to the end of your stinger hook. And then I'm actually going to put some flash on first, and the flash is going to go underneath this black rabbit strip. And I'm doing blue. Since I'm going to do blue, i got a blue and kind of green flash that's going to go on here. You can always put a lot of flash on. I always like to put extra on, and then if it's too much, once you get to the river, you can always take some off. So, I'm laying this rabbit strip right on top, and I actually I kind of pinch the rabbit strip and wrap it around the shank of the hook. Just make sure it's centered. So everything's going to come right over the top of this. Okay, and then here. You can, I like to add some sort of barring, whether it's like a piece of hackle, um, white and black works really good, or you know you can do blue and black, purple, whatever, but we're going to try some of this today. This is this, uh, I think it's called Bard Ostrich Plume, it's a new Montana Fly Company product. I'm going to put a little tuff of it on one side. So, and we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Try to get these lengths pretty even here. <clears throat> Alright, next step is so we're just basically going to spin bunny up to the front. And when you wrap this bunny on the on the hook, what it's going to do is you have a nice skinny profile in the back, and then this section of the fly is going to be really fat in the water, so it actually creates a really fat headed fly, like so, and then it tapers down as you go to the back. And I don't know, it almost looks, has like a sculpin look in the water, which I think works really good. So as we wrap this bunny, you want to pull your fibers back, and as you wrap forward, it, they'll wrap on top of themselves and it'll help pull these fibers back. So then as you wrap forward,
tie this off. Alright, next thing we're going to do, and you can do this in any process, but I'm just going to put eyes on this fly. So I'm going to flip this over. We're going to throw these eyes on the bottom. Okay, once those eyes are nice and secure on there, you want the eyes on the bottom because that'll help this fly right upright. Um, next thing I'm going to put on is I'm going to do some this new Spirit River UV2 Guinea. It's going to go right on the front here. It just kind of breaks up the black a little bit. Find a nice long piece. I'm going to strip one side of this. It should be enough just for one or two wraps. Okay, we're going to wrap this on. Secure that, trim it. This fly is just about done. The original fly, that's all we, we just left it like that. This fish is just fine. I always like to put a little finishing touch on here, a little, a little more bunny over the head. So here you can add any type of, any color bunny that you want on this. And what we're going to add here is I'm just going to do more black, but you can, if you want to make like more of an egg sucking leech look, you can put on whatever, pink, purple, red, orange. I'm going to use a dubbing loop here. This is the trickiest part of this fly is getting this hide away from this rabbit strip. Once you get it locked in your dubbing loop, you need a really sharp pair of scissors. You just cut up along the hide. Then once it's just the rabbit on there, you just spin it. Just create this nice dubbing brush. which you can buy now. <laughs> Take some half of pliers, wrap it around, and completely encapsulate the eyes. Run around the front. Tie it off. off. Then I like to trim up this head a little bit just so it's not so crazy and wild. That's it. So then to finish this fly off, I always cut this hook off right here. You really don't need two hooks, you just need the one stinger hook. Then I cut that off. And there you go, that's your fly right there.